Hello and welcome to Edinburgh Watch Company. My name is Jonathan and on today's video I'm going to talk to you about and show you the new Rolex Sea Dweller Deep Blue. Now you can find out more about this watch by visiting our website at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk and there you'll find some photographs we've taken, pricing, technical specification, hopefully everything you need to know. So this particular watch we have here is in fact the 2018 latest edition Deep Blue. Uh, this is the 126660 and this enjoys some of the new features that Rolex have introduced to the Deep Sea, uh, whether it be the black one or the, the Deep Blue one here, which I will, I will go through with you shortly. Now this is a UK watch. It was bought in 2018. It is a completely unworn watch. It comes with its outer sleeve, its outer box, its Rolex wave box here, the instruction manual. Those who know their watches and will have watched what's going on in the industry just now will know that there are many dealers across the UK now that are withholding warranty cards. Um, this has happened with this one and it will be available in December this year, December 2019. We do in fact have a copy of the receipt of the card too, so if you ever had to make a warranty claim you will have the, the cover you need and of course we'll get that warranty card to you as soon as it arrives. So this is the new Deep Blue. Um, so with great excitement Rolex introduced this change in 2018. Uh, built on the very popular James Cameron model that was uh, now discontinued. Uh, the James Cameron, of course, uh, who directed the film Deep Blue. And the Deep Blue, by means of what that means, of course, when you look at the ocean, it's blue, and then it goes dark deeper and deeper and deeper until it goes black. And what Rolex have done, they've, they've sort of just designed the dial to actually show those colors. So it is really quite special and works very, very well. However, this new model, um, they made some changes. Uh, first of all, they put the 3235 movement in it, which is Rolex's latest movement. And in doing that, they actually managed to increase the power as I think almost up to about 70 hours now. So again, that little bit longer than the previous one. It'd been mentioned perhaps that the earlier deep sea could be quite top heavy. And Rolex have considered that and made a slight change to the watch and that the bracelet here now, it doesn't quite taper off as much as the the earlier models do and it's slightly wider in the links here so it's not massive but again it's a nice wee tweak to the watch and that's what's in it but um, very very popular watch this in fact is the first one we've actually had um, and they're literally years to get these in the, in the dealers so let's take this watch out of the box and we can let you have a look at it here um, I had the the original James Cameron actually last week and uh, it would be nice to actually show you the difference between the two but I can go through most of these with you. So first of all, well this was designed very much as like a statement watch for Rolex. Um, if you think about the sports Rolex as like starting off with a Submariner, um, as a tool watch that will take you down to a thousand foot which is pretty good and I think enough for most. For those divers wanting to go deeper than that then they introduced the Sea Dweller Again, that's been out for a long, long time now, but that goes down to 4,000 foot. And one of the ways in which it can take that extra pressure is by a thicker glass, and but also by building in to the side of the case what we call a helium escape valve here. And this is an automatic valve there that gently releases the pressure back out of the watch as you're starting to come near to the surface. However, the Deep Sea, which came out, I think, in late 2007, early 2008, um, the case size increased to a 44 mil, but it's also, as you'll see here, it's much thicker. And this will take you down to 12,800 foot. So it is the absolute daddy of dive watches and it is quite superb. And we have many, many customers wearing these watches that absolutely love them. It doesn't uh, hide from the fact it's a big chunky watch. So something that ideally you'd really want to try on just so you know it's, it's right for you and if you're anywhere near Edinburgh, it would be a pleasure to let you see this watch and try it on for yourself. So the crystal on this one is sapphire crystal. Um, the bezel here is in solid stainless steel and the insert here is in ceramic. The bezel is what we call unidirectional, so as a diving watch you don't want this to turn the wrong way when you don't want it to and this allows you to mark the remaining oxygen in your tank here simply by putting this arrow towards the hour and then you can see how much 
oxygen you have left. Now on the deep sea you'll notice there's no cyclops here as in that magnification uh, window on it. I think that's really due to the fact of how deep this watch will go that part of the design they wanted it to be without that but it does still have a, a date function there. Aside from that it's a very simple uncluttered dial there. You have a really powerful loom on the hour markers there. The hour hands equally have that. It's a beautiful deep blue uh, colour you see it on the night time but just look at that dial. It's absolutely stunning as the blue goes into the black and you have the deep sea there in green. It is just absolutely gorgeous. The side of the case there where you can see the helium escape valve there is in polished stainless steel. On the front here however we go to a satinized look and again on this side here it's polished. The crown there screws into the side of the case there and you'll see you have the, the case lugs on it too. As a sturdy and strong watch Rolex fit an oyster bracelet to the sports watches. Um, this one as you can see here all with a satinized look going through it there that sort of brushed stainless steel look to it and then it joins here the deployant class there with a Rolex distinctive crown there. Now many of you will have heard of what we call the glide lock class. The glide lock class started off on the deep sea and this is the most technical bracelet you will find on the range there. The Submariner and the Sea Dweller have a slightly scaled down version of it and it is just beautiful to operate. So first of all what we need to do is we release the safety catch here and then what you can do is gently by putting your finger under there you'll see there, can you see the teeth on that deployment class there and then we can just slide the bracelet there. So easy to do. You don't even have to take it off your wrist to do it, it's that clever. And when you get to the position you like you just push that down and push that down there and that's it done. So we, once that's opened here you can see you have that solid steel deployment class there and this actually as it is just now is still fitted with its extension bracelet there too so if you're wanting to wear it over a dive suit there then this just opens up and gives you a little bit more space if you need it. So that is the deep sea. Now looking at the back of it here, um, you can see where it's engraved Rolex Oyster Deep Sea. The back of the case here is actually in titanium and you can see the sort of the grey finish on it there. So it is just an absolutely superb sports watch. It's still in fact got some of its stickers on it and again it's, it's never been worn. I'll show you on my wrist too. Now I've got quite a big wrist. Uh, I'm wearing today a, a Sky Dweller. That's 42mm um, so I can certainly carry off a larger watch but this is it here and it is just cracking. If I wish this one had been pre-owned I think I'd have, put a few, I'd have worn it myself for a bit. It's absolutely lovely. Great size watch. Quite a thick profile you can see there but it is just absolutely stunning. So there we are. Just to recap on that for you. This is a December 2018 new model Rolex Deep Sea Deep Blue. Balance of Rolex is 5 year international warranty. This has the new 3235 movement, longer power reserve, reprofile bracelet, and a very, very hard watch to get. I think we've got it pretty competitively priced as well compared to others on the market. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. Lots more videos coming along soon. Please just click there and that will subscribe you to our channel. Bye bye.